Hi everyone, Anthony here from Level Up Your Teaching. I hope you're all doing very well and you're enjoying a fantastic summer while I'm here in cloudy Scotland still looking for the summer. Anyway, today we're going to look at a website which is called Wordwall. Wordwall provides us with a lot of different templates which we can use to create our own interactive or printable material for online or face-to-face -face lessons. Now we're going to break this video into three different parts. First, we're going to look at the price plans for Wordwall. Then we will use a few of the different templates to create a jumbled letter activity, a word to definition and a word to phonetic activity, and finally a what's the question activity. At the end, we're going to look and talk about whether it's worth investing in this website. So without further ado, let's go! There are three different types of plans. A free one which is called basic and two paid which are called standard and pro. Unfortunately, with a free version, you can only create five different activities. Even if you delete the activities, you're still not going to be able to create any more activities unless you upgrade to a standard or a pro you're not going to be able to create more activities with a free version now there is a work around this and we're going to look at it in detail later on so stay tuned finally uh, regarding the price of the standard version is four pounds and you have access to most of the activities one multiplayer game and most of the printables and of course, you can create an unlimited number of activities, so you'd be able to build a wide repository of resources. Finally, the Pro version is priced at £6, and it gives you access to all the available activities, printable and multiplayer games. So this is the first thing that we're going to see when we are creating our account on Wordwall. And you have a few different options here, but the one we really care about is right in the middle. Create your first activity now. So let's go on and click there. So right after, you will see we have all the different choices for the different activities that we can use. Uh, right at the top, we have the free activities. And at the bottom, we have the activities that we have to have a premium account to use. So as we said, we're going to do a few different activities for this one. And we're going to start off with an anagram. So right here in the middle, we have the anagram activity. So let's go on and click there. So as you can see, it's very simple. A few different things that we can do here. We can name our activity, so I'll just name it means of transport. And then you have two different options to go without clues or with clues, depending on whether you want to help your students. I'll go on without clues. So the two words I'm going to use is car. And if I click add a phrase, I can add a new word and then I'll go with train. Uh, right here on the right side, you see that there are three different options. With this one, we can move the words around and change the order. With the second one, we can duplicate if we want. And with the third one, we can delete an item. So that's it. We click done. And there it is. Our activity is ready. So with this one, we can play our activity online. As you can see, you by moving the word, the letters around, you can put the letters in the correct order. And there's the next, the next one, train. Now, that's amazing for online lessons. Now, the thing is, if you want to do that in a normal lesson, in a face-to-face -face lesson, uh, right at the right corner, you have the printable version. So you can click there if you want to get the same activity in a PDF file. Now, that's it. Here, as you can see, in the middle, you have 
few different themes for you to change the background if you want and if you click so all you will see something quite important here that we can change the activity but at the same with using the same words that we used for the previous activity in other words i can go on and cl click on hangman and I have a hangman activity with exactly the same words. Now that adds a lot of value to our activities because from the from one activity we can create a few different ones. And that's part of the trick that I told you that I was going to say in order for you to create an unlimited amount of activities. So here we got three letters, so it must be car. So there you go, C A and R. That's lovely. So there you go. That's our first activity. Let's go on with our second one. Let's go back to our activities by clicking my activities at the top. Here you can see the activity we just created. And let's go back to our blue button at the right, at top right corner of the screen and click create activity. Now we're going to do a matchup activity, which is the first one. And we're going to use this to create a word definition or a word to phonetic, which I really like doing. So let's, uh, let's go on again and name this means of transport. And here we're going to put on the left hand side the word that we're going to test, car and then train. And on the right hand side, we're going to put the definition. So I've got here a, a Cambridge dictionary, which I, I use all the time because I find it fantastic. Now the definition might be a bit too difficult for your students, but just for this one, we're gonna use the, acti the definition from Cambridge dictionary. So very simply, I just uh, copy paste. Again, if you want to write your own, definitions based on the level of your students that's com that's fine but what I want to show you is that it's very easy to do this and by clicking done again oh there must be at least three items so let's add another one uh, let's go with uh, let's duplicate one that would make our life a bit easier so there you go you can't have duplicate items. That's really good to know. So let's go on and put a different one then. Bus. And let's go to Cambridge Dictionary and find the definition for bus. A large vehicle which people are driven from one place to another. That's lovely. Now if we click done, it should be all right. So there you go. Again, you have the interactive activity. And it's a matching game. Uh, now, even more than the previous activity, you can see here on the right that you can change this one to many different activities. It can be a crossword. It can be a quiz or a word search. And again, you have a few different if you click so all. So in total, you have three, six, uh, plus four, ten different activities from the same vocabulary that we used. And again, that's uh, it saves you a lot of money, a lot of time, not money. That would be great if it saved you money, but not unfortunately. And the same goes for the printables on the right. As you can see, if we click so all, you have a few different options for printable activities with the same vocabulary. Uh, let's click one out of curiosity. So let's go on with uh, let's go on with a matchup. So there you go. That's a worksheet ready done for you in less than a second. So I think this this website is amazing actually. Uh, now, I remember I told you that we have only a maximum of five activities, right? Now, that's a problem because by the time you create your five activities, you won't be able to create any more. However, what we can do 
is that we can edit our activities. So here, let's go back to my activities. I've got two activities, right? So I've used two out of my five, so I've got three more. So what I can do though to make the most out of these activities that I created is to edit them. Now, you have an unlimited amount of times that you can edit an activity. So I can completely change the vocabulary for the same activity, click done, and then create another PDF file of this activity. And then I can just download the new activity, the edited, and voila, I've got a new one, I've got a new activity, even though I'm not using a new activity based on what the system believes. So I, we're kind of tricking the system maybe, or that's something that they know and they're allowing it more or less. And the good thing again is that you have a few different choices between activities. So this one, even though it's a matching game, it can be a crossword or a quiz or a word search. So even though I initially create a matching, I can turn it into a word search. So I can change the type of activity and the content of the activity by editing it. So actually, let's go on and try it because remember that I told you that uh, we're going to do a word phonetic. So I'll go on and delete this. And again, I'll, it's, uh, I used Cambridge Dictionary for this because I know I can really, uh, I, I feel comfortable and confident that Cambridge is not going to get the phonetics wrong. So there you go, bus train and car that's lovely so there you go we got a new activity now without using one of our five available activities let's give it a go right car train bus Submit answers. Lovely jobly. And again, let's go on and turn into a crossword and see. And there you go. You get a new activity right over here. You can print it or you can download it and keep it into your library. Finally, we're going to show one more activity. Uh, and what's the question, which I really, really like. Uh, it's a lovely activity for practicing uh, tenses in general and particularly question forms. So for this one, I normally use the, where is it? The open the box right in the middle, right middle. So by clicking there, what we're going to do is that we're going to write the questions. Now, for uh, we're going to write the answers, I'm sorry. For example, I'm going to write, uh, yes, he does, he plays video games. Uh, let's try another one. No, she doesn't. Oops. She doesn't play video games and let's go with one more uh, let's go with yes she does she uh, plays football a1 language uh, let's put our full stops we got three items we're gonna name it question forms and click done and right now, as you can see, we have a few different boxes. Now, each box uh, is associated to one of the answers that we wrote, uh, either in groups or say, individually, you can ask your students to choose a box. You can turn it into a lovely competition if you want. So let's say we got group A and you ask them, group A, which box 
do you want to open? They choose two. Yes, she does. She plays football. What's the question? Hmm. Does she play football? And your students have to find the question just like we did now. So you give them the answer and they come up with a question. I think it's a lovely game uh, for students to practice question forms and it gets them into a competitive kind of uh, routine. So I really love this. So uh, that's all for me. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed the word world. I find it fantastic. And as a matter of fact, I'm be using it a lot. Uh, yeah. So thanks again. Let's go back now. Personally, WordWool is a website that I've been using a lot. The fact that I can create my control practice activities like anagrams or matching games so quickly, it is really important, especially when you don't have a lot of time. And on top of that, the fact that you can just make a click and change one activity from interactive to printable and from one template to another while keeping the content is a huge time saver. Now, the only problem with WordWool is that the free account, it really is just a taster. Uh, it is for people to just see whether they like the website and if they do, they need to go on and buy a paid plan. Now, of course, you can use the workaround that we showed, but that means you won't be able to keep a very big repository of online activities. Now, finally, I'd like to thank you for your continued support. I think this will be the last video of the summer because I would really like to step back and reflect on the channel's content and take some well-deserved holidays. And finally, I hope you all have a may have a may summer. Enjoy your holidays. Stay safe. And if you like the video, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you soon. Thanks again and take care.